You're listening to the Secure Dad Podcast. Discover ways to secure your home, protect your family, and embrace your role as a protector parent. Welcome, friend. I'm Andy Murphy, the creator of the Secure Dad. This podcast serves to help families become proactive in their safety. The information I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only. My goal is to empower you to make safer decisions for yourself and your family. Today, I'm going to answer your questions about Wi-Fi jammers and your home alarm system. This comes after a viral video showed what was believed to be a Wi-Fi jammer in use in serial home invasions. All of that and more ahead on the Secure Dad podcast. Have you ever stood in the vitamin and supplement aisle and felt overwhelmed by the options? The right nutritional supplements can be a game changer for you and your family, but it's difficult choosing the right one. Health to the Rescue offers the best supplements for your family while giving the proceeds to fight human trafficking. As a listener, use discount code SECURE to receive 15% off of your order. Shop now at healthtotherescue.com. And I'm excited to tell you that the Secure Dad 5-Day Challenge is back. I will walk you through how to make your home safer in just five days, and it's absolutely free. Each day of the challenge, I'll email you a short video that you can watch that will share with you a tip, idea, or a concept that you need to know to defend your home. You can start at any time when you sign up at the link in today's show notes. And also, the Secure Dad is now six years old. This started as a personal blog that turned into a best-selling home security book. Then it moved to a podcast, an online course, a secure password book, a home security assessment, and soon we'll be reaching 200 podcast episodes. I think that is absolutely crazy when you think about where I started in 2016. But I wanted to thank you for your support. I appreciate it so much. Also, to celebrate, use the code 6YEARS at the Secure Dad store to get 10% off of your order between now And September 30th, that code again is six years, S-I-X-Y-E-A-R-S. A A news story out of Queens, New York went viral recently that showed a burglar sliding across the floor of a home with some sort of device. The story speculated that the device was thought to be a Wi-Fi jammer. The jammer was being used to shut down the home's Wi-Fi network and the devices, rendering the home alarm system offline and unable to detect his presence. So, is this even possible? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, that's all the time that I have for the Secure Dad podcast for today. Thank you, friend, for listening. Okay, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Yes, it is. In short, yes, it is possible. But we're going to go over this in more detail. So what is a Wi-Fi jammer? Well, generally speaking, these devices generate a frequency that creates noise on spectrums that operate the 3G, 4G, 5G cordless and Wi-Fi networks, basically all of them. All of this noise blocks devices from using those frequencies to operate as normal. It's almost like they just get a busy signal so they can't go anywhere. For those of us who have old home phones, <laughs> that's, how, that's how I would describe it. But this also means that emergency networks used for first responders are also blocked, which is why Wi-Fi jammers are illegal. But they are made on the black market, and you can, of course, build your own. Do not Google how to do that, because you're going to end up on a watch list. So a jammer creates its own noise that hogs the frequencies that our devices use to stop them from working. Because these frequencies are being generated, they spread out from the jammer, and they can block tons of devices, even the ones that the Wi-Fi jammer user isn't even targeting. It gets everything. So after learning this, do you think that this will block your phones, alarm sensors, alarm base station, smart lock, and Wi-Fi cameras? Yeah, absolutely it can. And you might be wondering, hey Andy, my alarm system has a cellular backup for when the Wi-Fi goes down, but won't, you know, won't that still work? No because the sensors will not be able to communicate with the base station. And remember, these jammers also block mobile spectrums, so your base station won't be able to call out over Wi-Fi or the cellular backup network. Now, in related news, you might be seeing reports of thieves using some sort of similar technology to jam Wi-Fi cameras. In these cases, the thieves could be using a jammer, but most likely, they're using something called a deauthor. These don't jam your devices. 
Instead, it's like a denial-of-service attack that sends a fraudulent disconnect signal through your network that will keep devices from connecting to it and reconnecting to it. So, a deauthorization frame is used by Wi-Fi networks to remove unwanted devices, hence the name deauth. And yes, the Wi-Fi just executes this command, no questions asked. Seems like an obvious issue, right? But because it's an issue, because it's an exploit, people are using it against you. You need to know that these deauth attacks come from an ESP8266 chipset that work on the 2.4 gigahertz networks. This means if you use a 5 gigahertz network, you'll be unaffected from this particular type of an attack. But most smart home devices work on 2.4 because that's been the industry standard for so long and it can reach further than the 5 gigahertz networks, which is good because you're replacing these devices all around your home. Plus, some older routers may only use 2.4. Now, many new routers are dual band, meaning they can generate both 2.4 and 5. For example, on my phone, if the 2.4 band goes out, my phone will search for other known Wi-Fi networks and it will switch to my 5 band and keep going. So if a security device can use a 5 gigahertz network, then I absolutely suggest that you use it. But in doing my research, I did discover that 5 gigahertz networks can be attacked as well. It's just not as easy as buying a deauth watch on Amazon. Oh yeah, 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 you can buy these devices on Amazon for about $35 and wear them like a watch. Cool, right? Yeah, like how, how does that, how does that cool? You can buy them on Amazon under the pretense that you're only going to use them for ethical activities. So you know, criminals are totally going to abide by that, right? So is there even like a good use for these devices? And I'll give you one, yeah. You can find and stop hidden cameras in a hotel room or an Airbnb. So you could use this type of a device to keep yourself safe on the road, so you might want to look into it for that reason. And as a side note, believe it or not, it's alleged that Marriott used these types of attacks to block user Wi-Fi hotspots to force people to pay for the hotel Wi-Fi. In fact, I just read about the lawsuit not long ago. So now we know what these types of attacks are and what they do. So how do we stop them? That's why you're listening to the show. Do you remember how I have told you for a long time that you should not put the alarm company branded sign in your yard? This is exactly why. When you tell criminals what you use to protect your home, they can use the exploits against you. It's not hard to find out which companies use the 2.4 band. It's listed on the tech specs on the website. When buying a new smart home device, look for ones that are dual band or that will work with the 5 gigahertz networks. I've also read that WPA3 security will prevent these sorts of attacks, but that's not as definitive, I think, as far as I can tell. And again, I'm a noob. Now, any wireless alarm system will be susceptible to any sort of a jammer attack, and there seems to be no way around that for now, so keep that in mind. And of course, you can go old school. And you can get a fully wired home alarm system that runs off of a landline. There's no wireless parts, so you should be good. Now, many companies like Ring have cameras that use local storage. And this means that if the Wi-Fi goes down and the cloud storage isn't an option, then these cameras use local storage to record their clips. You won't get a notification on your phone, but you can check that SD card and the camera itself to see the footage. If you are heavily invested in a Wi-Fi camera setup, don't panic you can add a cheap local storage camera to your home as a backup. This way, if you are hit with a jammer or deauth attack, one camera will still be getting footage. So make sure you put that one in a good place. But if the attackers spot that camera, they can just smash it with a baseball bat and take it with them. So there's that. But the biggest lesson for us today is this. Do not rely on technology to protect your home. If my alarm and my cameras go down, my home is still secure because of the physical deterrence and fortifications that I have made to it. Alarms and cameras are nice, but unless you have something that can physically protect you, your home is not really safe. So if you're listening to this and your only line of defense for your home is a camera, then you need to take action right now to protect your home. You are not as safe as you think you are. To help you, Start the Secure Dad 5-Day Challenge. In this challenge, I don't talk about technology at all. What I share are real solutions 
that will protect your home. Well, that's all that I have for the Secure Dad podcast for today. Thank you, friend, for listening. I want to thank Dr. Brandon Lee of Health to the Rescue for supporting the show. One of the reasons I was so happy to have his company as a sponsor was the fact that he donates $5 for every bottle sold to fight human trafficking. Dr. Lee is a father and he understands how important fighting trafficking really is. Use discount code SECURE at checkout to receive 15% off of your order. That is one word, SECURE. Fight for your health and support the fight against trafficking. Shop now at healthtotherescue.com. Make your home safer in five days with my free email course. Sign up for the Secure Dad 5-Day Challenge at the link in today's show notes. Also, to celebrate the sixth birthday of the Secure Dad, use code 6YEARS, all spelled out, at checkout for 10% off your next purchase at the Secure Dad store. I'm Andy Murphy, and until next time, take care and thank you for your support. Hey, thank you for checking out that episode of the Secure Dad Podcast. By the way, I'm Andy Murphy. I'm the guy that you were just listening to. If you want to know more about this and other ways to keep your family safe, check out thesecuredad.com.